I was watching a Bruce Lee documentary and uh, he said I aim to have no style and I kind of that kind of really resonated with me. I think people get too caught up in like I'm this style or I'm this style and it doesn't really allow you to grow in anything else. You know, like you kind of stay stuck with no, this is this is what I do and that's it. I don't know, I'm just trying to grow and evolve. I really like punching people in the face and competing against someone to the best of your ability. I've always been competitive. I grew up playing football my whole life and wrestling. It's just, I need to. I can't just like sit around and, I don't know, I, I couldn't have a normal job. <laughs> I think you're kind of either born a fighter or you're not because I'll show people like the picture of uh, my face all cut up from my last fight and they're like, oh my god, are you okay? Like. I kind of forget that other people have like an aversion to bodily harm. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know, it's like just part of my job. Or like when I see the pictures of, uh, from my last fight, me and Julia fighting, like how like bloody it was, it just kind of makes me want to fight again. Honestly, when you get cut in a fight, you don't even feel it. It's not like I go in like thinking, hey, I'm gonna get cut in this fight, but I kind of joke about it with the cut man before the fight. <laughs> He's like, don't make my job too hard. I don't know, I'm just ready to fight bell to bell, no matter what happens. Um, I kind of like my scars. I've had 42 stitches in my face total so far, so <laughs> just <laughs> keeping track. I try not to think about them too much because you could kind of get like into your head a little bit too much. I, I don't think she's a slouch. Um, I know she's been working on her jujitsu. Um, I know ring rust is real because I've experienced it, so I don't know if that'll affect her or not, but honestly, that doesn't really matter to me. I just have to go in there and do what I do. I'd like to get a finish. People, you know, kind of rag on like, oh, you don't finish or whatever. I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't think it matters that much, but I'd like to get one. We were talking the other day about how many Fight of the Nights I've had, and I think it would be cool like at the end of my career to look back and have maybe the most of any fighter in that division or whatever. Um, I think that would be cool. I just want to prove to everyone that I'm one of the top atom weights in the world, and I just want something to show for all the hard work I've put in the last 14 years. This is her third title shot, so there is a chance that this is her last title shot ever. I know that I'm ready, and I know that I've put in all of the work that I possibly can. I'm excited, I'm sure she's excited. I'd really like to get a knockout, but I'm always happy with a war too. It's gonna be the kind of fight that I want it to be. I just want to fight, and I want people to enjoy watching me fight. I want them to feel it in their soul when I fight. When I claim the title on September 17th, it is going to mean a girl who would not take no as an answer at five years old took her dreams and achieved them. I've come back from so many tough losses and I keep coming and coming. I'm not going to turn down another opportunity to reach my dreams of being a world champion.